Good morning. So today on Solving Puzzles with Python, we are going to solve the following puzzle. It's a standard uh, computing question which will come up in level 2 or level 3 exams if you're in the UK. Um, convert the number 73 into 8-bit binary. So 73 is deanery. We've got to give the binary equivalent and in 8-bit format. What this means is that there's got to be um, a sequence of 8 ones and zeros um, to come to the 73. Uh, this is a binary progression scale. It goes from units 1 to 0, 1 or 0, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. To get to 73 we must tick a few boxes. All the rest must be zeros. Um, as it's 8-bit you must use the full 8-bits and 128 is not going to apply so that's going to be a 0. 64, yeah, we will need an A64. We won't need a 32 because if we switch that on that will take us up to 96. Um, we won't need a 16 because if we add that to that. We do need an 8 because 64 and 8 gives you 72 so we're one off. We want that. Uh, we want another 1 now. Uh, 64, 72 and we want 73. So we want a 1. We don't need a 0. Don't need a 0. We do need a 1. There we go. And that gives us 73. We do need the preceding zero because it's 8-bit binary. We have to use all those 8 bits. So without further ado, let's solve this puzzle using Python. So again today I'm going to use an online compiler. I'm going to use Replit again, REPL.IT, a fantastic online compiler or probably strictly speaking a translator, handled multiple languages uh, means you don't have to install anything on your machine. You can just do this on any machine that has internet access on any platform. So whether it's a Raspberry Pi, a Mac, a Windows machine or even a phone, you can do your Python programming. So you can either log in with your account and it will save it or we're just going to do a new replit and the language out of the choice of languages I've got to use I'm going to use Python. Create a replit and there we are we have our interface um, we write our code write our code here and the output is here incidentally you can see that um, it runs it runs on Linux using GCC compiler on Linux so even though you're using Windows machine via a browser you're actually programming on Linux. We're going to start by declaring our variables as usual. Um, the input, the, the figure we need to convert, the deanery figure we need to convert to binary is there. Input is 73. And I'm going to put the answer into a list. Okay, so it's a list of um, integers, or numbers at least, because um, these aren't in speech marks, so therefore it isn't. It is, um, they're not characters, they are numbers. Um, there are eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The advantage of it of doing it this way is that um, all the zeros are already present, and all I need to do is flip the appropriate zero to a one where it is applicable to our answer. So if I wanted to um, do 128, then um, I would just have to flip that one to a one and leave all the others alone. I don't have to write anything to them. I only have to alter the ones the the ones that I'm going to use. Okay. So I'm going to use, um, for this particular solution, I'll give you another solution at the end. I'm going to use a sequence of if statements. So going back to our uh, question and the structure of the answer. So if I need uh, a 128, then change the appropriate bit in the list to a 1. If I need a 64, then change the appropriate bit in the list to a 1. If I need a 32, change it to a 1. If I don't need it, I will just leave it as a 0. What I will then need to do is, um, when I've used a bit, is take 64 for my remainder um, to do the subsequent comparisons and then the appropriate bit flipping. So, if statement, if the input is greater than or equals 1 to 8, that's the first column, then, then is implied in, in Python, then answer list, which is where my answer is going to be constructed, answer list, uh, the 
first part of the uh, the first element of the list is element zero. It starts from zero. That is the most left hand one. That's that one. So if I need a one two eight, then the first element of my list I need to change to a one. Um, it's not an assignation. It's a change. Give the value of one. Um, and then I, if that happens, I need to take that value away from my input value. Input value equals input value minus 128. Okay, so if the 128 column is triggered, then uh, do the appropriate bit flipping, flip that to a 1, and then take 128 off the total, and then work with the rest of the characters. We can test this. Uh, when we come out of everything, we can print the answer list. Okay, print answer list. And let's see how that looks. Just check it works. Print answer list. Whoops, don't need that. That bracket has been put in for me. Um, the one seven, the 73 won't trigger, so let's change that to 128 to trigger uh, the bit flipping and then the answer. We can run that. Hopefully there won't be any errors. And there we are. We can see the first bit is um, is flipped. Uh, and it prints it out like that. Now that is not very pretty. It, it, it's okay. It gives us the answer. But we want a bit, bit more user friendly, please. And if we put a asterisk in front of that, it will unpack the, the list and print it out in a bit more readable format without um, all these computer characters in there. So we'll try it again. We should get the same answer, get the same answer, and it's a bit more human readable format. Now, on that basis, we just need to copy and paste that if statement um, to correspond with every single one of, uh, of these, uh, not forgetting to change the values. That's got to escalate each time, and that's got to um, take the value away, what value we declared there, take it away from the total. I've just got to keep doing that for every single one of the bits. So, for example, the next column I can just copy and paste, and for after 128 we have a 64. We have a 64, and then we move from column 0 to column 1, and we don't take 128 off the answer, we take 64 off the answer. And if we want to test that, 64 and 128 gives us 18196. Is that right? 1819. No, it's not 196, is it? 16180. 192. So if I put in 192, that should trigger the first two columns, unless my uh, my maths is a bit wrong. It might be. There we go. We triggered the first two columns. So on that basis, we just need to copy and paste and change all the values. And through the magic of copy and pasting and pausing video recorders, there we have the uh, the completed program. Um, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. That corresponds with our matrix here. Um, Got to make sure that you make three changes on each copy and paste entry. So the 32, now we're doing the third column, which is column 2, called 0, 1, 2. Um, there's a bit flip, and then you've got to take that value, the values there, you've got to take that value from the input to reduce the total each time, and it goes all the way down to the final column, which is handles the 1s, answer is 7, so that's the 8th bit, it starts at 0, and there we have it. Now, if we change our input to uh, the question, 73, run that that gives us the wrong answer and the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice why I put an equal sign in there instead of a minus sign um, put that down to inability to multitask and old age right so run that again There we have it. 
64, 72, 73, that corresponds with our answer here. Okay, so if you have any computing experience with you, about you, um, you'll, you'll think, well, hang on, there's something wrong here. We've got repetition here, we've got iteration, we're doing, okay, it works, it's fine, it's absolutely great, gives us a nice output, but um, we're repeating ourselves here, and where you're repeating yourself, it should trigger something in your head. Um, that hang on, I'm iterating, therefore maybe I can use an iteration. Maybe I could use a for loop and a while loop to, or a for loop or a while loop to repeat these stages. And indeed you can. Um, I've got another solution. And this is it. It uses a while loop. Introduce another variable. Uh, another couple of variables. So we've got, we've got our same input. Okay. We, there's our... Um, list count to index uh, the various elements in the list and um, the maximum value is the maximum value that our program can handle which is 256 which represents this so while the maximum value is greater than one so while that maximum value is greater than one um, keep going around looping around and have the maximum value so it will go from 256 to 128 to 64 to 32 and if the input is greater than the max value, then do the bit flipping exercise. The answer list is list count equals one. Um, the list count keeps a tally of which column you're indexing, which element you're, you're indexing. Um, you take away the cycle you're on, so you take away 256 off your total, or 128 off your total, or 64 off your total as you're going along, because that gets halved here, and uh, you increment the counter, which counts up the um, up the list. Okay, so you just got an algorithm in here. You got a while loop and uh, an, an if statement in there. It's a lot fewer lines, and you're not repeating yourself, which is um, which is good programming. The perhaps the disadvantage is it's slightly harder to read, and and, and you know programming is always a payoff between complexity and ability to debug or bit read readability. Um, readability is important because somebody else might come along and have to edit your code. So it needs to be readable and you might have to edit it six months later and debug it six months later and find out what the heck you did. So readability is vitally important. This is just another solution and perhaps a neater solution as it uses less lines. It works just the same. So I hope it does work just the same. We shall soon see. Yes, and there we are. We get the same answer. So there we are, two answers solving this week's puzzle on how to convert a number into 8-bit binary.